Insulating concrete form is a construction system that combines the insulating quality of expanded polystyrene with the structural sturdiness of concrete. ICFs are easily assembled to build both foundation as well as the upper floor walls. Concrete is simply poured inside the ICFs once installed. Les avantages de construire avec le système Big Block de Polycrete, c'est d'abord et avant tout d'avoir une isolation supérieure avec l'apport du béton, d'avoir une construction solide et d'avoir une construction excessivement durable, d'où les économies de chauffage et de climatisation qui sont très importantes. The installer has to make sure that the diagonal limit measurements are settled accordingly to Polycrete System's provided plan. The foundation footing must be perfectly level with an overall tolerance of plus or minus quarter of an inch. The footing must contain a key or any other form of mechanical attachment to ensure a perfect connection between the footing and the foundation walls such as steel dowels. Starting base exterior perimeter drawing with a chalk line. Starting base corner cutting with the appropriate cutoff. Starting base fixation with concrete nails or ram set gun type. The nails have to be put two feet apart, alternately on each starting base side. It is recommended to install the starting base the day after footing pouring. Nails will penetrate better in a fresh concrete. L'avantage pour travailler avec une compagnie comme Polycrete, c'est euh, une compagnie qui offre un produit qui est le plus gros bloc sur le marché. Euh, la seule compagnie qui, euh, qui offre les tirants en acier à l'intérieur, ce qui fait un coffrage isolant qui est, qui est très résistant. Aussi, elle offre la, une, euh, une coupe prénumérotée en usine qui nous permet d'assembler des maisons comme celle-ci en une journée. Big Block First Row Installation. At starting point, first corner, insert a two and a half inch polystyrene piece guide to leave the necessary space for the last block. Then proceed with the first block row installation. In order to avoid any space between two blocks, the installer must install two joint hooks at each upper part panel junction. Interior wooden corner preparation. Installation is made of two wooden strips set at 90 degrees. Exterior aluminum corner guide setting after first row installation. One inch by three inch wooden braces are installed at two thirds of the foundation height or ICF assembly and attach from the starting base or last row of the previously poured ICF assembly. In the case of a T-wall, we recommend to install one aluminum corner guide on each side of the T-intersection. When the corners are closed back, the upper portion of the aluminum corners have to be attached together. Interior wooden corners are screwed to each insulated panel screwing points with three inch number eight screws. This is providing a solid assembly at level point of the polycrete walls. Les avantages pour moi d'avoir utilisé le produit polycrete, c'est essentiellement la, c est, c est une multitude de facteurs. Euh, Premièrement, l'isolation, où là, on va le placer en, en, en haut de la pyramide. L'isolation en hiver, c'est vraiment incroyable de savoir qu'on met la main sur notre mur puis que c'est complètement chaud. 
Notre retour de chaleur est toujours présent. On n'a jamais des, des, des bouffées de fraîche qui vont arriver. C'est une isolation qui est parfaite, il faut se le dire, elle est vraiment parfaite. Puis ensuite de ça, bien, la, la, la solidité de la construction. Je pense qu'on ne peut pas trouver aucun comparable en termes de solidité et de durée de vie. Donc, je ne vois pas le jour où ce bloc-là va réussir à s'effondrer. Horizontal rebars are installed on each block row. The scaffold installation starts two feet from inner wall intersection and every five feet subsequently. Scaffolds should be installed on each opening side. It is recommended to attach scaffolds to all block screwing points with three inch number eight screws. The scaffold attachment to the starting base requires one and a quarter inch number eight screws. For T walls, it is recommended to place a scaffold on the exterior wall at the opposite side of the intersection. For polyconcrete wall assembly with 8 inch concrete thickness or more, it is recommended to put scaffolds at each outer corner sides. Aluminum or wooden corner guides must be fixed to each screwing point with two 3 inch number 8 screws. The screwing points are represented by the horizontal lines on the big block. Each aluminum corner guide is fixed to the starting base with one and a quarter inch number eight screw. Corner wooden strip bracings have to be fixed to each screwing point with three inch number eight screws. Scaffold vertical adjustments at level point must be done before concrete pouring. Level points should be slightly tilted towards scaffolding side. Vertical rebars installation. If there is more than one polycrete ICF concrete pouring, make sure that previous rebars exceed the last row top to ensure construction strength. This should be made according to the building code. Wood frame bucks are strongly fixed on their interior and exterior perimeters with wooden strips with four and a half inch number eight screws or with metallic washers using four inch number eight screws. Details on wood frame buck assemblies are available in the installation manual on our Polycrete com website. The topper block row is attached to the previous one with wooden strips on the exterior of the wall or with anti-lifting rods into the formwork. Joist hangers must be installed accordingly to manufacturer's specifications available on polycrete.com website. Be sure to complete manufacturer's checklist before concrete pouring. This checklist is available on our polycrete.com website in Big Block Installation Manual section. Concrete formula should be 25 MPa combined with 14 mm aggregates and super plasticizer to reach desired slump from 6 to 8 inches. Concrete pump must have a 90 degree flow valve with three inch reducer for easy pouring. 
The concrete can be vibrated if required. Once concrete is poured, proceed with wall's final alignment. It is important to clean the base and walls from all concrete residues to ensure optimal adhesion of the waterproof membrane. Scaffolding equipment dismantling can be made 24 hours after concrete pouring. Located horizontally at the top of the adhesive membrane, another membrane overlaps the adhesive waterproof membrane by half his size in order to ensure a connection with the different exterior finishes. For a young family, I think that de la manière que je traduirais euh, à mon entourage que je vendrais le produit Polycrete, c'est de leur dire de façon officielle, c'est une barrière contre tout, c'est une barrière contre l'extérieur. Et ce qu'on veut, c'est euh, en construisant une maison, c'est de s'isoler de l'extérieur puis des intempéries. Chose que j'ai réalisée. Puis aujourd'hui, je ne suis pas déçu. Pourquoi? Parce que je n'aurai jamais d'infiltration d'eau. Euh, J'ai une barrière complète contre l'eau, contre euh, le vent, contre toutes les intempéries. J'ai une insonorisation qui ne se compare pas. Donc, quand je suis à l'extérieur de ma maison, puis que je suis à l'intérieur, je suis dans deux mondes complètement différents. Puis pour moi, ça, c'est une valeur que je voulais retrouver, puis je la retrouve de façon officielle, puis de façon très concrète. Thanks for choosing Polycrete. To join our team, call 1-800-436-1096 or refer to our website at polycrete.com.